time me thinks to look at this air gunning thing from a slightly different viewpoint. And to do this, I'm going to need to recruit some help. Someone whose opinion is going to be worth having and relevant to the testing I have in mind. And I have just the person in mind for that. The task? Junior rifles. Which ones are any good and worth buying to get the younger generation into our sport? Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. Today I am going to be looking at a whole plethora of junior budget guns and to help me, Will has very kindly stepped into the hot seat and will be giving his opinion and showing his target skills. Will is a teenager and has some experience of air guns in different formats and above all he is one of those rare commodities, a sensible and intelligent young guy. The guns in question, the Gamo Junior Hunter, the Crossman Inferno Junior, the Gamo Delta Fox GT Whisper, the Nova Vista Spitfire, the Daisy Powerline 880, the Crossman 760 Pumpmaster. And just for good measure, I'm going to throw a couple of wild cards into the mix too. But more about that later. Before we get stuck into the testing, the first thing really is to go through the statistics of the guns that we have up for testing today. This may seem a lot of information, but I have tried to give the most important information if you're choosing one of these for your junior member of the family. First up, the Gamo Junior Hunter Brake Barrel. Overall length, 91.5 centimetres or 36 inches. Weighs in at 1.87 kilograms and that all important figure, but to trigger length, 31.5 centimetres or 12.5 inches. Trigger pull weight, 3.75 pounds. This gave an average of 443 feet per second, 3.68 foot pounds or 4.99 joules. And it has a UK price of around 99 pounds. Two, Crosman Inferno Junior Brake Barrel. Overall length of 103 centimetres or 40 and a half inches, weighing 1.85 kilograms. The butt to trigger length of 36 and a half centimetres or 14 and a quarter inches. Trigger pull weight was about five pounds. Average 350 feet per second, 2.3 foot pounds or 3.11 joules. UK price again round about 99 pounds. Third one along then was the Gamo Delta Fox GT Whisper. Again, another brake barrel with an overall length of 106 centimetres or 41 and a half inches. Weighing in at 1.88 kilograms, but to trigger length, 35 centimetres or 14 inches. Trigger pull weight was four and a quarter pounds. With an average of 619 feet per second or 7.18 foot pounds, 9.74 Jewels. Then we come into the pump actions. The first one is the Nova Vista Spitfire, which is pump action as we say, and 99 centimetres overall length, which is about 39 inches. It's quite light at 1.51 kilograms with a butt to trigger length of 36 centimetres or 14 inches. Trigger pull weight of five and a half pounds. This, as we say, is a pump action, so the more pumps, the more power. But it does top out no matter how many more pumps you give it like all of the pump actions here in fact. This gave 636 feet per second or 7.58 foot pounds which is 10.28 joules. Price in the UK around about 79 pounds. Daisy Powerline 880 then. Pump action 96 centimeters long or 38 inches weighing 1.42 kilograms but to trigger length of 35 centimeters or 13 and a half inches approximately. The trigger has a pull weight of six pounds. Maximum power 733 feet per second 10.07 foot pounds or 13.66 joules makes this quite a powerful junior gun and would need a little bit of extra care. Surprisingly enough, the price of this is less than 50 pounds UK. Sixth on the list then is the Crossman 760 Pumpmaster. Again, as the name suggests, pump action. 103 centimeters or 40 and a half inches long, weighing in at a feather weight less than one kilogram 
kilograms at 0.98 kilograms, but to trigger length is 36 centimeters or 14 and a half inches. The trigger has a pull weight of six and a quarter pounds. The maximum power I saw was 554 feet per second, 5.75 foot pounds or 7.8 joules. UK price tag approximately 67 pounds. So far, a real mixed bag, I'm sure you'll agree. First test then, which does Will like the look of? And what I wanted to do first of all is just have a quick look and let Will have a look and find out which one he likes the look of, first of all. So, which one would you say? I like the look of this one the best, to be honest. Yeah. So you like the yeah. gamma? I like that one the best, yeah. Okay, what this one is, is a brake barrel. Yeah. Yeah? So yeah. you pull it all the way down, yeah. load the pellet in, and away Crack you go. Yeah. yeah? You quite like that yeah, one? Yeah, I like that one the best, yeah. Okay. If you were going to pick any others, which one would you say you'd like? Probably that one as well. Probably that one. Yeah. But that one is, is a pump action. Oh, yeah. And it'll fire pellets through a magazine fed system. So, we've had a quick look. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to hit the range. First up was the all wooden stock Gamo Junior Hunter. And we join this as Will was trying out his target work. Set out at 25 metres. Not too bad for open sights. And with all these guns, a budget four times scope would add a load more accuracy and keep the junior shooters engaged more, perhaps. So next up, the Crossman Inferno. So what do you think? It's a bigger gun this one. Again, not too shabby. Next up in the brake barrels is the long gun with equally long name, the Gamo Delta Fox GT Whisper. Shooting a little low and needed the sights adjusting to compensate, but it, it was a full day and time was critical. We did put a scope on this later and the results were really pretty good. So a bit of a summary and roundup from Will and I of the brake barrel rifles so far. Your first reaction was you liked the wood of the Gamo Hunter Junior, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so looking at them now, which one do you think you still like the look of? This one, def it's still, still definitely the same, yeah. Yeah, still the same. And as far as action is concerned, which one did you think felt better? This one. This one, yeah. That's my favourite so one. This particular one, which is the Gamo Fox? Yeah, but the grip wasn't nice on that one. Right. So you preferred the grip on the Crossman? Yeah. Yeah. I can see it's actually got more shape to it, hasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. So that make it easier and for you. And in there as well. Yeah. Whereas on the Gamma one, it's actually quite level, isn't it? You could yeah. have done with a cutaway to, to get that Moulding. thumb in. Yeah. 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 As you say, the moulding would be better, wouldn't it? But as far as shooting though, which one do you think shot the best? The mid, this one. The Gamma Fox yeah. again. Yeah. It's a heavier, bigger gun for you, isn't it, really? Yeah. Um, I mean, that would actually that would actually fit uh, an adult quite yeah. comfortably as well. So we can, we can actually see the difference in the length of the butt pad to trigger. All three of these will actually take a scope. Uh, mm -hmm. And if we get a chance, we'll drop a scope on, say, your favourite one of these and see how it fares. Yeah. Cool. On to the pump action guns then. Now these benefit from more pumps if it's power you want to maximise on, or fewer pumps for shorter distances. Great fun these. 
Firstly, the Nova Vista Spitfire. Okay, the next one up is the Spitfire. Now, this one is predominantly plastic, very lightweight, obviously metal around the barrel, but other than that, most everything is plastic. It's also open sights again, and believe it or not, there's actually a rail on the top if you want to put a scope. This is dual fuel because you can actually put pellets in it or you can put BBs, but the BBs will automatically load as you pull the bolt back. First things first then, so you pull the, um, the hammer back and then it opens up a tray to drop your pellet in. It's 177 that we're using, push forward and you need to do that bit first before pumping because if you don't pull and cock the gun first any pumped air will just simply be ejected straight out the barrel so it won't charge itself so you're perfectly safe so it's pump action normally you're best to give it between half a dozen and say nine any more than that is pretty much wasted it won't go above a certain power it puts the safety on to start with automatically which is nice it's pushed forward in front of the trigger and then you're away so see what you think games consoles and actually gives a bit of exercise at the same time shooting a little to the right to start with but we did bring that back a little with compensation don't forget, we're pushing these out to quite a distance. Next up, the Daisy Powerline 880. Okay, the next one we've got then is an offering from Daisy. Now, it's a very similar principle to the Spitfire in that it's dual fuel again, pullback cocking mechanism, and it's a pump action, almost identical. Yeah. Again, it's all plastic, isn't it? Yeah. It's so quite what's noticeable as well. What's your first reaction of this say against the Spitfire? It doesn't look as good. No? Because it's very plastically. But yeah, what they've done on the Spitfire is have a plastic stock but paint it coloured. This one they've tried to make it look like wood, haven't they? But it not. But it doesn't, yeah. yeah. Not bad grouping at all, a little high, but nothing that couldn't be corrected. Last up of the pump guns is the Crossman Pumpmaster 760. Again, predominantly plastic, quite short for Will. Uh, again, you're looking probably for somebody who's under five foot tall uh, because of the trigger to, to butt uh, pad on the stock uh, is quite a short distance. Again, it's pump action, mostly plastic, pellet loading via a slide through magazine system which isn't automatic you do have to keep pushing it through each time but you can load up five pellets it also comes with a BB slot to be able to slot BBs in anyway and what we're going to do is we're going to fire this one on BBs open sights no adjustment and we'll just see how we fare Not so accurate this one I'm afraid, but it is one of the cheapest guns here and would be great for shooting tin cans out at about 10 metres or so. So what about a sum up on the pump action rifles? Okay what we're going to do, we're just going to have a quick recap. So we've got three pump ones that we've used. Um, the first one was, well the Spitfire we used first didn't we, which was that one, all plastic. It's got some heavy, t it's quite heavy that one. Quite heavy is it? Yeah. yeah. Then we use the Daisy and then we use the 760 Pump Master. So which one of the three then did you prefer the look of to start with? Yeah I like the look of this one the best. The Spitfire? Yeah. So do you still like the look of that one best? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Still like that one? Yeah. So at the action though, forget what it looked like, which one of these did you think 
was the nicest to use? To pump? Yeah. This one. The um, Pump Master 760. Yeah. Was it easier to pump or yeah. just felt better? It just, well, it was like better grip and nicer. Right, okay. And then the trigger on this one. You preferred the trigger on the Daisy? Yeah. Yeah, because that was quite a short trigger, wasn't it? Yeah, and then like the length and the look of that one. Okay, so for you, obviously your size, etc. Out of these three, which one would you choose and why? This one. You still go for the Spitfire? Yeah, because it's just bigger. It's bigger? And it fits me better. Right, so even though the trigger is nice on the other one, yeah. that one is more comfortable for you yeah. to use overall. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Okay. Now a couple of wild cards. Firstly, the Nova Vista SR16M. I've done a full review of this and found this terrific fun for adults and would be great for the whole family. But this particular one is a game. Pump action, BB or pellet, so dual fuel, open sights, front and rear, as well as just found, adjustable stock to get it exactly right for you. That's why I mean a younger one could do it. And how heavy is this gun, Well, It's actually light, not that heavy. It's really light, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's predominantly plastic, apart from the barrel, of course. So you can adjust it, get it where you want it. It's got that nice action that you pull open, slot into the tray again. Right. We're talking 177, all BBs. Now I've shot this uh, and I've found this totally addictive. And the, the maximum pumps you're really going to get out of this is 10. Yeah. Yep. Then I got hold of a beautiful second-hand BSA Ultra SE PCP. More expensive, I know, but it is a wild card after all. So this is Will's first time with this BSA. Oh, that's it. Oh, that shoots straight. Pull back, lift up, pull back, push in, that's it. Again, this BSA is quite a short rifle. I quite like this rifle. It's quite a hard pull trigger. Trigger yeah. pull. You probably find the triggers adjustable on this. It's really nice and quiet, and of course, downrange it'll be even quieter. Okay, so no surprise it was much more accurate, but it did put a smile on Will's face by the end of the day. Especially when I got the Firebird exploding targets out. Okay, so that was a bit of fun, but there are seven guns there all at around or below £100 UK that will give a young shooter far more fun and fresh air all for less than the price of a PS4 Call of Duty game. So with Christmas around the corner give your family the gift of fresh air and as Nike would say just do it. Thanks for watching.